Unity Key. So in this video we are going to learn about the key stores in SAP Cloud Integration. So for that go to the monitor sections and here in the integration side APIs we can find this key store. So go here. Uh, so this is the key store for SAP Cloud Integration and key store is mainly allow the tenant administration to manage the key store and all its entities. And you can find that the connection between the cloud integration tenant and the remote system can be secured by using the client certificate authentication. And from where we can get this? So we can get this from the key pairs and the certificate required to implement these authentications. So here we can find that the entries uh, can be owned by the two types that is one from the tenant administration and second from the SAP. If the entry can be owned by the tenant administration then the SAP don't have the access for that. And if the entry is owned by the SAP then the tenant administration do not have the access for this. Access means what? Means we cannot perform any operation on that particular entries. And entries is of two types. Uh, entry can be a certificate or it can be a key pairs. So here you can find the different attributes regarding to the entries that is the alias. Alias means the name of that particular entries and alias always have unique to identify means every entry has a different alias so that the entry can be uniquely identified. Then after that the type means which type of entries it is as I previously discussed that entries is of two type one of them is certificate and second is the key pair. So here you can find that the entry is key pair or certificate. Then third is the valid unit. It means that up to when the particular entry is valid. And if the validation of that entry is going to end, then we can find that in the red color as like this. Then the last modified add means lastly when we modified this entry, so we can find it here also. Then after that the subject DN means the subject distinguished name. So in that we can find the particular attributes as like the CN that is a common name for the certificate owner. After that O means the organization and country it belongs to the country. C means belongs to the country or region. Then here you can find the issuer DN that is the issuer distinguished name. So here also we can find the same attribute as like common name then organization and country or region. Then after that you can find the actions. So here are the particular operation which we can perform on that particular entries that is rename, update, download and delete. Then after that here you can find we have the following operations that we can perform in the key store. So firstly go to the create and here we can find the two options that is key pair and SHS key. So firstly go to the key pair. So here key pair is mostly used for it is used to create the decryption then after that the signature and client certificate authentications and to create the key pair you can find the following attributes like alias means the name of that particular key pair after that key type in this we have three options select as per as respect to your key pair after that the key size the key size you need the bit format after that the signature algorithm that which hash algorithm you require to use after that the common name then organizational unit organization location state of the provenance then country region email valid from and valid unit so as per you want so you can place it here and create your key pair then the next the next is the SHS key so go here it is the secure shell key so it is mostly used to connect to the SFTP server and here also the attributes are same as like the key pair that is alias key type and all these things so you can fill it as per your SSH key then go to the next section that is add and here you can find the following options so the first option is the certificate so go here and here you can find you just require to enter the alias name that means that is the name of the certificate and here you can upload the certificate from your local system to place it in the key store. Then next you can find the key pair. So in the key pair also same that you require to add the alias first and after that the file just browse it from the local, uh, local system and after that the password that is belong to your private key. Then the third is the SHS key as like that you can create the SSH key is uh, in this you can add also so only one option is going to change that you require to add manually here from the local system 
and uh, the other options are same as like you see previous then you can find the RSA key RSA key is also used for the secure connection between CPI and other systems so here also the same attributes are there required to fill it then the last is the key store means you can manually upload the key store also here you just browse and uh, in the local system you can get the key store and here you can find one option that you require to add the new key store and you replace this uh, and you request this uh, key store from the new key store so you can find the options and uh, fill as per your requirement here so you can add the new key store also in this SAP cloud integration then here you can find one option that is backup means if you required if you want the backup for this key store then you can get it from this and this backup is owned by the administration tenant then you can find here one option that is download so from this you can download the public content of the key store then here one option as like refresh so you can refresh and reload your content and then the last option is the settings so in the setting you can uh, sort by using order that is ascending or descending order or you can sort the key store by using alias or by using the type owner validity untick or last modified at so you can sort by using the following entities here so as like that all the performance and all the functionalities in the key store we can see in this video so if you like this video then please hit the uh, like button and if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe the middleware techie thank you so much